All right guys, it is the second day of Iowa's third season and we're out here on a, a pretty big piece of public ground that Trevor actually hunted last Tuesday and uh, he had a great hunt. They said there was a ton of birds in here and he actually missed one and then almost got a shot at another one on that morning hunt. So he said there was a ton of birds in here. Uh, he did say there was some pressure. He ran into several groups of hunters, but he advised me to come out here. It's about a about a 40 minute drive for me, but I'm hoping it was, it was worth it because he did say there's a lot of birds in here and uh, didn't have any other great plans, so I was taking his word for it. But we're out here today and uh, it's been really cold the past couple days. I wasn't able to get out last night or this morning. Uh, it ended up being really wet, rainy, and uh, just super cold, so I didn't even bother. There, there would have been short hunts anyway, and uh, with nothing gobbling, it just really wasn't worth it. Um, last night I was actually outside of my house and heard turkeys flying up behind there uh, at around 7.15. So they flew up super early and uh, I'm pretty glad that I didn't go out just because it would have been a waste of time. I wouldn't have gotten out here until around 6.45 or 7 anyway and uh, that just wouldn't have been enough time. Um, they'd have had a destination in mind anyway and probably would have flown up really early like the birds behind my house. They're just uh, really not liking this cold weather. But anyway, we made it out here tonight. Uh, it's around six o'clock, so it's gonna be another shorter hunt, but with Iowa's turkey seasons the way they are, kind of short and broken up, every season is kind of like a sprint. You just wanna do as much hunting as you can. So I thought it'd be worth it getting out here, even in the, the bad weather. So I came out here, I uh, just got done freezing my baguettes off, changing into hunting clothes, but I'm all changed now and uh, ready to go. So the strategy tonight is basically just do kind of a lot of walking, uh, Trying to call, get in their bubble, get them to shot gobble. Um, really not expecting too much, although the clouds did just break up enough for me to catch a glimpse of sun, which is really nice, kind of bright in the day, and also encouraging. Uh, maybe that'll get them gobbling and, and get them more vocal tonight. Uh, I'm hoping it comes back out here soon. It's probably the nicest it's been in the last 48 hours, so that's kind of promising. But if there are no gobbles tonight, the plan is basically just to do a lot of walking and and check a lot of these open areas here it's a really diverse habitat on this uh, piece of ground here so I'm hoping we can find some birds whether we have to hike for them or or listen for them but we need to get going uh, I don't have a lot of time so let's go hunting I think I just heard my first gobble of the night way that way there are a lot of fields that run kind of like this and I think I'm gonna drop down to the bottom along the timber and then kind of parallel all the fields just checking them for any turkeys and listening for gobbles I might be able to get a pinpoint on him and go chase him that'd be really awesome but if I spot any turkeys up in these fields they're likely going to come down and roost somewhere down in that timber down there there goes a long ways down that way but somewhere down below so I should be able to intersect them like that and I want to get on the bottom down there so let's get to it
but he's about to roast here pretty quick. It's getting dark. And there's no way I can cross this field without him seeing me, I don't think. So, just ran out of time tonight. I might have been a little bit more aggressive, but I checked the weather. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be really cold, but it says it's not supposed to rain. So, I think I might try 